have you ever wondered how you can actually run a profitable facebook and instagram ads and you really desired a simple trick that will help you to maximize your ad spend so you can get more leads for your business and more customers for your business now in this video i'm going to show you a simple hack that will help you to spy on your competitors ads so you can be able to model what is already working which will save you hours of doing your research and also save you money from testing out your ad creative or your ad headline so you can just spend minimal amounts of money and get maximum results this simple trick is very easy to follow and the most incredible part is that it's free of charge so you don't need to pay any money to be able to assess this free tool this simple trick will save you lots of hours from doing your app research and not just that it also save you the money you would have used to test different headlines or sales copy or ads creative for your ad is in this here welcome to another video if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to get more customers make more sales and grow your business using social media platforms and powerful sales and marketing strategies then make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable notification so you don't miss out on any video i post on this channel now the free tool we are going to use for this is called facebook ads library so you basically go to your browser and you type facebook.com slash ads slash library now you will just select your country so since i'm in nigeria it has actually selected the country for me all right and the next thing for you to do is this under the ads category just select all ads all right so there are two ways to do this either you search for the ads by keywords or by the name of the advertiser so if you know the name of a competitor maybe their, their facebook page you can simply type in the facebook page here and you'll be able to see if they have any ads that is actually running all right so if they have any ad that is running you will see it here now another way is also by keyword you already know the kind of business you are into just type in your keywords that is relating to your business or maybe the business you are interested in and you will see you know different ads that are running under that keywords will pop up now let me give you an example let's say maybe you want to sell vegetable slicer all right and you want to find out different people that are actually running ads right to sell vegetable slicers what you're going to do is this you come over here and you type it vegetable slicers now when you type it here you will scroll down and you see different vegetable slicers that are here all right so facebook is going to show you different vegetables look at it now look at all the ads that are here look at all of them look at this place here there are 12 results meaning that as as, as of this time july 2022 there are like 12 results 12 you know different ads or 12 different advertisers running ads to sell vegetable slicer do you understand now the next thing i also wanted to notice this you can click on the filter and use it to narrow your search right so when you click on filters now you can narrow your search by language by under advertiser i'll advise you to select all advertisers all right now look at different advertisers that are here so i'll advise you to select all advertisers right now on the platform you can decide to select all platforms either you, or you can decide to just check you know the ads that are running on either facebook or on instagram or on audience network or messengers so if you want it to be only on facebook you can just select only facebook here right if you want it to be on all platforms that is, you, you want this this particular size to include all platforms facebook instagram audience network and messenger you leave it at all platforms so but for this video i'm going to leave it at all platforms right now under the media type i will advise you to select all media types so you can actually you know narrow your search by images by meme by you know images and memes or by videos right but i would advise you to select all media types the next one is for you to narrow your search you know by active ads or inactive ads so i will want you to click on this and then select only active ads right under active status so that they can show show you only the active ad that is the ads that are actually active right so that you can know what is actually happening now and the kind of result they are getting right and also you can, you can also know what can actually help you when you want to set up your own ads now under impression by date you can select impression by date meaning you want them to tell you the ads that are that are active within a specific period of 
time. So from, for instance, from this to this. So you can decide to increase the date range or you reduce the date range, but I'm going to leave it like this. I'm not going to touch anything here, right? So you now click on apply filter. Now, I've actually applied the filter. So you can now scroll down. You now see that, look at it, it's active, it's active, it's active. Look at it here. So all these ads now are active. And it started running, they'll tell you the date it has it started running. So it started running 10th of July, 2022, right? So it's active. Now this one is also active, 9th of July. This one is also active, right? And there are different Facebook pages. So meaning that it's different people that are actually running these ads. Just select the one you want and click on see ad details, right? So you click on see ad details. So you can see they are selling it and look at, they used a video. So let's try to open it and see. That's showing you how to. So this one, this one is actually using a video of you, of you showing you how to actually do this, right? So you can see how it is now. So you can draw inspiration and know how to actually do your own. So you mean that you need to create a video because if you notice that most of your competitors are using videos, then it means that you need to actually use videos, right? Now let's let's check another one too. So let's click on this one again see add details let's check this one again so this one is a different one altogether and then you can actually look at their art copy and just draw inspiration from their art copy do you understand so let's let's open this one let me watch this video and see what this one is right see how interesting this one is very nice right so you are seeing how it is now this is another video right so let me let me leave this one so you, you can just analyze the ads and then draw inspiration for your own ads you can see so you analyze so you can see that most of people selling these vegetable slicers are using videos that means that automatically you should think of using videos and it's demonstration videos that they are using do you understand and now they're also offering free delivery right look at it this one is offering free delivery this one is giving a free, you know, a free gift when you buy from them, right? So this thing should give you an idea on what you should do. It was launched in 2021, June 2021, and it's still running up till now. So it means that this ad is actually performing very well. That is why it's still running up till now, right? Let's view the details. So click on add details. So this one has like 2,000 something paid likes 2970 paid likes so let's see let's see let's see why this ad is actually performing very well so that's what you should be doing okay can you see can you see why it's performing very well and let's let's now see them so you can even decide to open their you can decide to open their sales page so let me open their sales page and see how they did their sales page look at their headline so you just model what is already working you check their ad copy, check their ad creative. So remember, from this particular research, now you can see that all of them are using videos. So that automatically shows you that you need to use videos for your own ads. Do you understand? Because this one started running since June 2021, and this is July 2022, and they are still running the ads. It means that it's actually performing very well because nobody continues to run an ad that is not generating sales for them, right? So that should give you an idea of what to actually do for your own ad, right? So let's let me open the sales page and say, okay, look at how the sales page is. So you can just model what is already working, see why it's actually working. So look at their sales page and just go through their sales page just for you to find out why it's actually working very well. And it's actually a good product because people are dropping reviews on this particular product, right? Let's check another keywords. So let me say Yam Pounder. Let's check Yam Pounder. Let's see if we can see another ad. Now look at another ad that's actually running. So people are selling yam pounder. How many ads are here? 140 results. So meaning that 140 ads are active. So that shows you that there is a demand for yam pounder. Let's now analyze some ads here. So let's check this one. This one started running since 10th of July, 2022. This one started running since 9th of July. Now this one started running since 10th of December, 2021. So let's click on see ad details. Let me click on this video. Let's see what this video is all about. Now look at it now. Look at their offer. They are saying free delivery plus pay on delivery. So this is a very nice one because you know that people are scared. They are scared of buying online. 
right? They're scared of many people are scared of buying things online because of scammers. Now, because they said that they should pay on delivery and also free delivery, it will attract a lot of people because they will feel that okay, I will not get scammed because the person needs to bring the product to me before I will pay for the product. Do you understand? So that should give you an idea of the kind of offers you should actually make. So you can just draw, you know, inspiration from this ad. So this is basically how to spy on your competitor's ad so that you can know what is actually working and model what is already working. Then spend lesser time doing your ad research. So if you don't know how to set up your Facebook ad, I actually have a video I'm going to link in the description below. I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook ad. So make sure you check it out. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Then enable your notification so you don't miss out on any video I post on this channel.